A security camera about a half mile away caught the moment when a tour helicopter crashed into a Houston radio tower and burst into flames, killing all four people aboard. Officials said the helicopter crashed just before 8 p.m. on Sunday in a neighborhood east of downtown. It had taken off from nearby Ellington Field. Officials said no one on the ground was injured. Some vehicles were damaged by no nearby homes were. The National Transportation Safety Board says it's investigating the crash of the Robinson R-44-2 helicopter, which preliminary information shows was operating as an air tour flight. Russian losses in the Kursk region have increased. The 95th separate Polesi Airborne Assault Brigade of the Airborne Assault Troops of the Armed Forces of Ukraine continue to effectively take revenge on the Russian 155th separate Marine Brigade of the Pacific Fleet for the murder of Ukrainian prisoners of war. Ukrainian paratroopers near the village of Leonido in the Kursk region surrounded a platoon of the 155th Brigade and minus enemy armored vehicles as well as dozens of opponents, writes Forbes. The Ukrainian airborne assault troops reported that soldiers from the 95th Brigade had recently destroyed approximately 30 Marines and three of their armored personnel carriers as a result of a multi-hour battle. The enemy's teleportation to hell was carried out in a complex manner. 
First, the first enemy armoured personnel carrier was damaged by a strike drone, after which the enemy's equipment was disintegrated into atoms by a precise shot from a tank, the Polesi Airborne Assault Brigade noted. The Ukrainian army added that the second enemy armoured personnel carrier was in the sights of the Javelin anti-tank missile system operator and the anti-tank paratrooper destroyed it with one shot. The third Marine APC was blown to smithereens after running over a mine that had been carefully prepared for its path by the sappers of the 95th. Recall members of the 155th Separate Marine Brigade of the Russian Pacific Fleet have been accused more than once of killing Ukrainian prisoners of war. In particular, the media wrote that enemy Marines launched an attack near the village of Zeleniput in Kursk Oblast in early October and were able to capture Ukrainian drone operators and contractors. According to journalists, the enemy stripped Ukrainian soldiers to their underwear and killed them with shots to the head. Ukrainian paratroopers took revenge on the 155th Enemy Brigade. They actively eliminated the enemy in Kursk region. The Ukrainian side called for the issuance of warrants from the International Criminal Court for the arrest of Russian occupiers involved in the murders of Ukrainian soldiers.